Okay, humans. So, this is a tutorial to show you the tools that are available to you on My Coral Coach. So, first off, your homepage will look like this. If you hit, you've, you're going to have some repertoire waiting. That's how I'm going to communicate, or uh, that's where you'll be able to see the music that I'm sending to you that will give you the option to practice it. So, I'm going to go into All Ye Who Music Love, which is the district festival and all state festival audition piece um, I can only see the tenor part because that's what I assigned here now there's a few things one we've got zoom capabilities here Ooh, that was not good let's not do that again so you can zoom out if you would prefer to see more of what's coming if I hit in the bottom left corner there's a more button and the general things first off I'm gonna go to repertoire details the goal is generally going to be an 80% accuracy goal at 100% tempo eventually. That's the recording requirement that I'm going to ask you to submit. Now, um, change tempo. If you're not ready to go that fast, because look at that, quarter note equals 180. I can either hit some of these buttons like the 5 to go down 5 beats per minute, or 1, and vice versa, or I can just slide all the way down to 33%. I would suggest when you're starting out doing something like 50 or 60% to start out. Um, when you feel, if you feel like you want to jump right up back to normal, hit that button in the middle, the refresh, and it'll go to 100%. There's tempo for you. Now, if I go into tracks, the demo audio, which is automatically selected, will play your part for you like so. You can't hear it because I'm recording myself right now. Oh wait. Yeah, so you can. But the demo audio would generally play your part for you. The backing track, which is under tracks, so not general, but in tracks, the backing track is going to play every other voice part that is not yours. So in my case, because I'm a tenor, it would play for me everything, the soprano, the alto, and the bass. And if you're feeling really good about how you're doing. You could also just turn on the metronome, which is just going to click at you instead of hearing any voicing. For recording, I whatever you're comfortable with is fine with me. Show cursor will help you know where you are. Follow me means that it's going to not, it's going to follow you, like literally. So you set the tempo. If you change tempo, it's going to follow that tempo. I have found that it's not 100% accurate when it does follow me, I would recommend either metronome, because then it'll click at you, or the backing track when it's time to record, okay? And, um, yeah, so that's uh, that one. Uh, but when you record, please, 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 as I will say again later in a different video, use headphones. It's better for everybody. Now, the other thing in general there's this mark section tool. So like, let's say I'm super struggling with just this very beginning part of the tenor. I will, you won't be able to hear it. Let me zoom out a little. Let's go through the word prove because that's actually most of what you have to know. So I've marked this section. Now if I hit play, you can't hear it. But what's going to happen here? You'll see what's about to happen here. Love and would its pleasures prove all music. So basically, in marking a section, it allows you to focus on something very specific that's going on. So let's say for a moment that from the word who through love, I'm struggling big time. I can set the section to only do that again and again until I feel confident with what's going on there. So those are some of the basic tools. As you can see, my record button is not an option at this very moment. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, if you go back into more after you've done, if you've marked a section, two ways to get rid of it. One is to hit the X that just appeared on your screen. The other is if you go back into the more in general settings, you can hit, oh, go back, reset section and it'll go away. So those are some of the basic tools for you on my Coral Coach. Uh, if you have any questions or need help with troubleshooting these tools, let me know.